So you're talking about remote office workers. Now, there could be a million reasons why you'd want to be interested in remote office workers. Maybe it's the very traditional sense of, of telecommuting. Uh, my mom is a fantastic example of that, where she works from home uh, from an office that is literally a mile from her house. Her company doesn't want her to work in the office because they're running out of space. Uh, they have multiple shifts going. The people that do work in the office have cube sharing where they actually have to share their cube with somebody else when they come in and, and they hate it. So this allows her to work from home and be just as productive uh, and obviously that is based on the technology. Maybe the reason you want people to work from home is this whole idea of the pandemic, right? We all know that the World Health Organization has officially declared uh, the, the swine flu as being a pandemic. Now, again, we know that that doesn't mean this. It, it, pandemic doesn't describe the severity of of the the outbreak. Uh, you know, from a, the, the the severity of the illness itself, it's describing the, their ability or lack thereof to contain it. Um, and so, my neighbor, uh, just uh, two houses down, their child, uh, eight year old, one that my kid goes to school with, so I might have it too. Uh, they he, he's officially got the swine flu. Um, the entire family was asked to stay home, quote unquote, quarantined, uh, until uh, the next week. Now, there were no armed guards outside the house to make sure that any of that happened, and you know, the, he's doing absolutely fine, and everybody is doing fine with it, but they're trying to contain it. And so, um, my friend, uh, the, this child's dad, uh, he's not able to go to work for a couple of days. Uh, now, if his company was set up uh, to be able to handle that kind of environment, uh, and again, a lot of our customers are, they're very comfortable, they've been doing telecommuting for our for a long time and they're utilizing the appropriate technology. So what are some of those forms of technology? Well again it kind of depends on the type of worker that you are. Um, assuming that this is, is relating to the information worker where you spend most of your time on a computer or on the phone, this is really easy to deal with because we live in that environment. Uh, now if you're a factory worker, a line worker, or you, your, your job is interacting with a lot of other people uh, live and in person, um, that could be a little more difficult. But uh, you know, any way to recreate the, the, the telephony experience and the PC experience, uh, we've been doing that for a very long time. So some of those technologies might be VPN remote hard phones. Avaya's had that for a long time now where you can actually take an IP telephone, currently the 4600 series phones, um, and you can load special firmware in them. Just like you're running, you know, your H.323 load of, of 2.8 or whatever it is, um, and you just put a, a, a different firmware load on that exact same telephone and um, you can deploy it out at anyone's house or a small office, um, get a power brick, if, unless you have power or ethernet at your house. Um, I happen to, but a lot of people don't. Uh, and so you put it in that power brick, it gets power, and you plug it into your Linksys router, and, and you can get great dial tone uh, and regular uh, telephony features on the phone that you've had all the time at work. Very cool stuff. Um, Obviously, some things you have to think through when you're talking about the internet. There is no quality of service on the internet, but most of the time, the Q lack of QoS on the internet is never the issue. Bad voice quality from a home office worker typically comes from the lack of QoS in your home network. Even though we talk about a big six meg download speeds from uh, most of the providers nowadays, the issue that you run into is not having very much upload speed. Most of the time you're limited to 256K upload speeds. So that's why the person at home says, I don't know what you're talking about, it sounds fantastic, where everybody out, outside of that environment to say, no, you sound terrible. Well, it's because, who knows, that person might have been using, uh, you know, they might have been sending an email at the time or uploading some big file, and their Linksys router crushed the connection. So this applies to a lot of, of, of forms of voice over IP when at home, whether you're talking about VPN remote, uh, whether you're talking about uh, soft phones like the One X communicator, um, maybe the One X portal in, uh, in, in road warrior mode where you're, you're again using voice over IP. But there's a lot of other technologies that make it all very effective. Um, 
you, know, you have EC500 that can uh, let you use your regular cell phone as being much more connected with any, with with your your infrastructure back at work, um, while still having the quality of the cellular network. Which we always used to talk about cellular networks having a lower quality. The reality is it's, it is pretty good now, so we don't have to lower that bar too much. But there's a lot of ways to really enable your workforce to work from home. Tons of savings, uh, ton, tons of benefit. Uh, you can improve uh, morale, and there's tons of studies saying that it can be more effective. So check it out.